Class is a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines (SSBNs) in service with the Royal Navy. The class was introduced in 1994 as part of the Trident nuclear program and comprises four vessels: Vanguard, Victorious, Vigilant, and Vengeance, built between 1986 and 1999 at Barrow and Furnace by Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering, now owned by BAE Systems. Three. All four boats are based at Hmm Naval Base Clyde, HMS Neptune, 40 kilometers, 25 miles, west of Glasgow, Scotland. Since the decommissioning of the Royal Air Force We.177 Freefall Thermonuclear Weapons during March 1998, the four Vanguard submarines are the sole platforms for the United Kingdom's nuclear weapons. 4. Each submarine is armed with up to 16 UGM-133 Trident II missiles. The class is scheduled to be replaced starting in the early 2030s with the Dreadnought-class submarine. Beginning in the late 1960s, the United Kingdom operated four Resolution-class submarines, each armed with 16 US-built UGM-27 Polaris missiles. The Polaris missile was supplied to Britain following the terms of the 1963 Polaris sales agreement. This nuclear deterrent system was known as the UK Polaris program. In the early 1980s the British government began studies examining options for replacing the Resolution-class submarines and their Polaris missiles, both of which would be approaching the end of their service lives within little over a decade. On January 24, 1980, the House of Commons backed government policy, by 308 votes to 52, to retain an independent nuclear deterrent. A British-designed and built ballistic missile, although Britain had had no capability in this field since the 1960s, it was considered to not be impossible. However, it would be very expensive, would be full of uncertainty and would not be available within the required time period. Thus the option was considered unattractive. Retained Polaris, but fitted on a new submarine class, this option would have a cheaper initial capital cost, but would lack in terms of required capability and reliability. Also, it was concluded that any initial capital savings would have been lost beyond the 1990s, due to the high cost of sustaining a small stockpile of bespoke missiles kept only in British service. 